Welcome to Weir's Dojang and today's Tuesday training tip. I'm Instructor Weir and today we're going to talk about mindset. Okay, It's very important to be in the right mindset, to have a clear mind when you start into your training. Okay, In the art of Hapkido, it's so easy to injure someone with very, very little effort. Okay, If your mind's not there, it's very easy to have accidents occur. And even if they're not long-term injuries, you can still hurt someone and, and we don't want to do that. We want to protect our UKs, we want to protect our, our training partners. Okay, So we're going to cover a couple of different things today about how to get that right mindset when we begin our training. So meditation is a classic way of being able to set your mind in the right way before you start the training. Uh, there are many different di disciplines in meditation. Uh, when I was younger, I studied a, a form called Shambhala training, which is essentially Buddhist meditation. Um, a lot of the fundamentals are the same with a lot of your, your different types of meditation. You know, you want to sit in, in, in lotus position. You want to be very grounded, okay? I'm sitting on a cushion. You don't have to. I find it to be a little bit more comfortable, and I have some, so I do so. Um, your hands, you want to rest them on your knees, and you want to keep everything nice and relaxed. You want to make sure that you're not tensing up, okay? Your back, you want to be nice and straight, head erect, chin erect as well. So everything's a perfectly straight line, and again, you want to be grounded. Your gaze. You want to pick a spot somewhere in front of you and you want to not look at that spot but look through that spot okay your eyes should be almost closed but not quite so you're, you're reducing the amount of additional information you're getting in but you're still keeping your eyes open so you're not you know falling asleep your breath which is very very important one probably the most important part of meditation you want to be conscious of your breath okay your Inhale should be through your nose. Your exhale through your mouth. Okay. A lot of practices will teach you to put your tongue against your upper teeth um, or on, on the top of the bridge, and that will allow you to keep your mouth just slightly open. Okay. So very much like your eyes, you don't want to have your mouth wide open to breathe out. You want to keep it slightly open, and you don't want to be moving it during that meditation. Okay. So it's. You're keeping everything the same. You're not changing that, your, your mouth structure during your meditation. Um, a really cool addition to this is something that I picked up from my brothers down in New Jersey in the Shinmu uh, community, where they will count backwards. Okay, so you pick a number and don't get too aggressive with it. 50, 100 is a great number to start, and you want to count backwards from that number. The great thing about this is it makes you focus in on what you're doing. It makes you, you can't be thinking about all sorts of other things while you're doing that. You really have to focus on one task. That is going to put you in a great position to be able to, to start your class with, with a focused determination on one task. Okay, All the other crap in life, that's going to sit outside the door and I guarantee it's going to be there when you're done. Okay, I believe that Dojo Nim Jihan J said that the ultimate goal is to be able to count backwards from 3,000. I haven't even been able to become close to that, but that's an awesome goal to be able to sit and meditate for that period of time and to be able to really focus yourself. So the last one I'm going to talk about today is a form that was taught to me by my master, which was taught to him by his master, Grandmaster Blunt Son Sen. Okay, this is what we refer to as the Hapkido Star. The nice thing about the Hapkido Star is, unlike a sitting meditation, it's a moving meditation. So you're moving, you're actually focusing in on a couple of different things while you're doing it. Again, it's gonna get you focused in on being in present mind, being here to be able to do martial arts, okay? The nice thing is it works on two different stances. We're gonna have our forward leaning stance where the weights and distribution is pretty much even, and it's gonna have a back stance where we're gonna have a 60-40 weight distribution, a little bit set back on the, the, the rear leg. We're gonna incorporate the double circular block, which we did in another training tip uh, last week. And on top of that, we can incorporate Dong Zhang breathing. So we can really get a good internal training out of this as well. So we'll talk about Dong Zhang breathing in a completely different training tip. The half kilo star, ultimately, where you start is exactly where you should end. A great way of doing this is putting a dot on the ground, putting a cone on the ground, and being able to do it from there. So we want to step out to our right, we want a double circular block out to our right. Okay, we're going to step back and we're going to do the same thing to the left. 
Now, we're gonna step all the way back into that back stance now and double circular block again. We're gonna do a step, step back, double circular block again. And then we're gonna come up into a quick cat stance and drop down, double chop, nice key off, and then back up and bow. It will look very much like this. this is it can be done at any pace. I like to be able to start it off slow, get to a really fast pace where you just bang out these different things and then slow right back down. You can add it in as a workout as well as a mind-setting activity, okay? Again, we can talk about dong jump breathing in another one. Your breathing exercise would come in on your circles and as you move, uh, great exercise to promote footwork. That step this way, step, step back, we use that so much in Hapkido. Great way to practice it. Great way to relay that information back to something. Make an unknown a known when you're teaching. So that was just two different examples of ways that you can meditate, what things you can do to start a class to really get the person to be able to be focused in the class, to get yourself focused to be in the class and be present of mind. It's very, very important to be of present mind and to be here doing what we're supposed to be doing here. All the junk in the world will wait for you outside. Don't bring that into the dojo. This is the place where warriors train. This is the place where warriors are focused. Okay? Train hard, be good to each other, and have key.